So the next order of business is going to be finding an image that we're going to use inside of our uh, document over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use, well, we're going to end up creating an SVG, a scalable vector graphic image, uh, to place in there because we kind of, uh, we're going to want our uh, content to be flexible and we don't want the quality of that image to degrade when it's like, stretched out as full as it could be. So just a, uh, a quick background on, on what an SVG is or an SVG image. An SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphic. And if you don't know, the difference between vector graphics and uh, bitmap graphics like pings and JPEGs and all that kind of stuff, all the other ones you're likely familiar with, um, is that vector graphics display information based on like mathematical formulas. So essentially an SVG file is a text file. Like here's an example of an SVG. And if we look at the source, um, this is the code that is creating this image. So unlike a bitmap, uh, a bitmap, just to go back to this example they have here, a bitmap kind of works on, um, this is a bitmap and it works on a map that these little bits are laid on and it's each one of these little squares in the in the image is going to be defined a color and an opa and an opacity and that's fine it's worked for years but the issue with that is is that when you make the file bigger it starts to get pixelated like you could see here because this is a, a pixel uh, this is a a, a pixel based um, or a bitmap based image, um, <clears throat> whereas the SVG uh, doesn't have that because it's just a mathematical equation that's defining this. Now I'm going to get in close. It may look slightly pixelated in this video, but that's not because the image is doing that. That's because I'm using um, the Mac OS's built-in zoom function over here, which works on pixels or on bitmap technology. So um, anyhow. So, yeah, great. SVGs, uh, vector-based images. So it seems like, they, oh, I was going to say the other thing they have as well, too, is that compared to an image of this size, compared to a bitmap version, is going to be smaller in size. Um, so already, what I was going to say uh, just now is, already it seems like SVGs are the way to go right? I mean, they're smaller when they're downloaded, uh, they're scalable, you know, great. I'm going to use it for everything. Why not? Well, there's a couple of why nots. For one, uh, the first major why not is that not all browsers support it. I mean, modern browsers now are supporting it. As, as we move forward, it's going to be uh, all over the place. But um, older browsers, older versions of Firefox, older versions of uh, Explorer, like Explorer 8, well, they just don't render SVGs. So if you embed them in there, it's just going to be a, like a missing link. Um, the second thing is, I mentioned that SVG graphics are smaller than their uh, bitmap versions. Um, that's great, but it comes at the cost of your computer actually processing this information. So, um, with that said, using vector graphics is only appropriate if the graphics are relatively simple, like uh, almost like what you would use GIFs for. It's like there's a lot of solid colors, um, um, you know, things like graphs, cartoons, that kind of stuff. So, what you want to use it for is limited because your computer has to do the processing. And the more uh, complicated uh, or detailed your SVG images, um, the more your processor has to, or the more the visitor's processor has to calculate that image. And if it's a very complicated image, like if you took like a like a JPEG picture that you took with a camera, and tried to convert it into a very detailed SVG file, um, you could more you very likely you're going to end up crashing uh, your visitor's browser and potentially on how big it is, even their computer. And just to kind of illustrate my point is. Here's Activity Monitor, and it's the um, it's the little built-in program that Mac OS uses that keeps track of uh, different processes and programs running and what their 
uh, what they're using as far as your CPU goes. Now you notice that Firefox just sitting here is working at about 2% of my bra of my CPU's capacity. But now check this out. Keep your eye on this 3.2. As I start scaling this SVG, look at that. I mean, I can really, I mean, we're just talking about this little graphic and look, this thing's getting up into the 30s or 40s. And this is a really simple graphic. If you had a detailed graphic, like I mentioned before, the JPEG, uh, you're going to see your CPU spike insanely. Uh, I, you know, I actually recommend that you try it and just see what the implications are. So, um, all right. So with that said, that is a basic introduction to SVGs and what they're about.